I just wanted to say a big thank you to all the Ice Nine Kills fans that keep turning up every single time you we upload. You guys are really nice. Seriously. You guys um, are super nice. It's been it's been awesome. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso, a podcast where we rarely drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. Tonight I'm drinking wine. And an IPA. <laughs> because you're a stereotypical Pacific Northwesterner. I put on my flannel for a reason. <laughs> anyway, tonight we are reacting to... Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills. Because it's spooky season. Spooky season. Stabbing in the dark. Yeah, so this is part four, right? Part four? I believe so. Yeah, part four. Because we started with part five and then went back to part one. Yeah, because we were rookies. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so this is part four. And then next up, too, we're yeah. going to be, like, almost back to back. You guys are getting two of these this week. We're going to be reacting to... What's Mary Axmas. Yeah, Mary Axmas. Yeah. Um, And then... And then... On the 1st, on October 1st, we're going to be doing our full album review of The Silver Scream. Yes. So be excited for that because I'm excited. excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe um, so you don't miss out and on any of the content. And hit the bell notification if it does anything. I don't know. Might. I don't know. I don't think I've hit anybody's bell, but then sometimes I get notifications. See, I'm the opposite. I hit like every bell and yeah. then i'll get like every fifth notification i don't know youtube's weird youtube so is weird check back frequently um yeah do we just jump right in there? yeah let's i think much ado about nothing i think we just hop right into it we've been enjoying the ride so let's see what this one is all about um we just watched the oh yeah what it's Hold on. The original. Oh, yeah. We just watched John Carpenter's Halloween the other night. So I'm like yeah. super amped for this. Nothing's flying over our heads this time. So nothing. Don't believe it. Probably. <laughs> All right. Let's go for it. Double check that we are recording so we don't have to take two. Oh my god. Yes, we are recording. I was like, how did he know the band? Oh my god. <laughs> I still hate this guy so much. I know. Like everything about him. Hey guys, Josh here in post-production. Um, so this video, I've tried uploading it about six times now. Um, chopping up the song, editing it so that it's distorted, all sorts of things. And for whatever reason, YouTube just doesn't like it at all. And it's not only been copyrighted, but it's been blocked every single time. So I've put in a dispute for the original reaction that we did. And hopefully after 30 days, it will be available and we can post it onto YouTube with all the music and everything. But for now, we're posting this one without the music just so that we can get the reaction part of it up for you guys. This is the first time that we've really had this sort of trouble with anything. Um, so hopefully you guys still enjoy the reaction um, part of it and the discussion and the lyric breakdown. And we'll see you on the next one. That was a really incredible transition of his vocals just then i yeah. don't feel like we've heard that before no i don't even know how to describe it but i really liked it is heavier dirty vocals um 
I know we we started with it ends, and in that video, he he's going a lot harder than the other ones, and it's much more similar to this. Yeah, and I really like this sound. I really like these dirty vocals. Well, and they're they're trading off a whole lot more in this song than they are in the others mm -hmm. um, between the guitarist and Spencer. Yes. Yeah, no, so they're, they are trading off a whole lot more, mm -hmm. um, and, it, and it's a unique sound. I mm -hmm. Like you said from the beginning, like the, the transition yeah. with his voice, like we didn't hear that before. Yeah. I feel like every single one of these songs has been a different set of like vocal skills. Yeah. Um, and not only has it been different, you know, there's the, the ballad, you know, and they've introduced different like elements, like musical elements, mm -hmm. but I mean, it all sounds like Ice Nine Kills, right? Um, but every song is very different yeah. in like composition. And well, I, I feel like we've been great. getting that in the comments like a lot in all of our uh, reaction videos for them so far is people are talking about how Spencer's vocals have a huge range yeah, and how the band has a huge sound range in general and that like it all sounds like Ice Nine Kills, but it's all very different. Yeah. And like, like their albums are different sounding mm. and... <laughs> That was my elbow. I don't know if the mics picked it up, but that was loud. <laughs> that was freaking sweet. Really quick. The breakdown at the end there, too, was like a proper breakdown, too. Yes. Um, which is great for a theme song, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or themed song, rather. Yes. Um. Anyways. I kept wanting to stop it, but I didn't want to stop it Same. because it was really good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ah, yes. We all That's a great know. way to end it. Yeah. That was good. Honestly. Honestly. That was really exciting, too, to open this back up and see that we were actually recording. So, yes. <laughs> oh, man, that was really good. Um, I think that's my favorite one yet. Definitely a top for sure. I don't know. I've liked them all for different reasons. I find mm -hmm. like each song will be stuck in my head randomly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, I'm glad that it's stuck in my head. Once again, a catchy chorus super catchy chorus um nailed this, it every time like this was such a heavy song the breakdowns were fire they were so good and then and how I, they reintroduced the like the piano the iconic like yes, piano sound yes. too like they did that b like better better than any of the other songs so it, i definitely think it was the most like recognizable yeah. Was, um, yeah. Because until someone in one of our other videos, they commented saying, oh, yeah, they're using like they use kind of like similar tones yeah. uh, it, from the movies, from like the theme songs from the movies. This is the first time I've like heard it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, we noticed in the Crow one. Um, yeah. The, the guitar. The guitar riff. Right. Um, but this I feel was like because I, I have the original theme song on one of my playlists. Yeah. And so that hits you yeah, yeah. like I, I don't know it was very um recognizable yeah i suppose is the word but this is still like like we just said like this is a different sound than the other four yeah that we've reacted to i think um, it's interesting because i do feel like it was like it started out heavy went heavier then we had the ballad of whatever the crow one was <laughs> A grave mistake. A grave mistake. We yeah. had that ballad. And then now it has peaked yeah. on this like super heavy sound. Yeah. Um but and you were right though on the the one before that they were gonna come into um this one, the the mm -hmm. Halloween one, the stabbing in the dark, um, off of the the nightmare about when he was younger. Yeah. Totally called that one. So Yes. I know. I was honestly really glad <laughs> this this sounds so weird. I was glad that they had the kid murder the girl because like that's I, I mean so that's, it's iconic that's the and part of it i'm excited to get into the the lyrics in a second too because there's like so much yeah that i feel yeah. represents the movie really well um just from what i picked up so 
Oh, I loved all the pumpkins in the background. Yes. Freaking love Halloween. In calculated silence, captivated by the violence of the play, 15 years ago today, oh, an evil evolution will bring a feeble institution to its knees. Oh, doctor, can't you see? Side note, the gore of him gouging out the, 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 like, the oh, security guy's eyeballs at that the was, beginning. That was unexpected for sure. Fantastic. Yeah. Um... That when the hands of fate uh, fall behind the midnight hour, behind the mask of hate, I don the devil's power. I thought that was super clever. So, like, the first lyrics, though, mm -hmm. that you pick up are um, calculated silence, mm -hmm. right? And it gives sort of this other interpretation on the movie that, like, his – or not really other interpretation, but that, just that he was silent, you know? Yes. That was That was a big factor. Like, that's what creeped out um, – like his therapist. His therapist yeah. and the person that went to go see them and everything was like, oh, he's really been silent for all these years. So I thought that that was cool that they put that in. Well, and even um, saying these are the devil's eyes, the devil's eyes. I think in the original movie he says uh, he calls him the devil. Like he calls him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, a former portrait of perfection painted without plight. Now Haddonfield's my battlefield. Your kids won't make it home tonight. With a madness void of reason, I kill with every strike. I'll haunt you day after day, knife after knife. Day after day, knife after knife. Taking life after life. Is that a night after night? When the hands of fate fall on the midnight hour behind this mask of hate, I don the devil's power. If there's life in the shadows, let the knife leave its mark. When the certainty of safety feels like stabbing, stabbing in the dark. You'll learn a heartless human harvest feeds this festival of flesh. Stalking at the top, scream of the crop, a silent cut above the rest. Where blood's thicker than water, I've carved up quite a scene. With your worst fears carved on this white veneer, I'll change the face of Halloween. You can't kill the boogeyman. That's a line from the movie. Yep. Oh, I yep. love it. I, um, I also wanted to say really quick, though, um, in the movie, right, um, Michael Myers is, I mean, he, he doesn't have a particular goal mm -hmm. other than just killing, mm -hmm. um, right? And that's what makes him a little bit different than some of the others, right? Yeah. Is like there's there's usually a motive behind right. it. Um, but Mike Myers is just like, I'm going to kill everybody. He's just the devil. Right. If you're if you're in my way of whatever, I'm, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Leads through in the lyrics. Blood. Uh -huh. Good one. <laughs> No pun intended. When the hands of fate fall on the midnight hour behind the mask of hate, I don the devil's power. If there's life in the shadows, let the knife leave its mark. When the certainty of safety feels like stabbing, stabbing in the dark. I'm a shadow where there once was light, strangling all signs of life. It's either you or some kid down the street. The choice is yours. Trick or fucking treat. <laughs> Michael, stop it. Ah! <laughs> when the hands of fate fall on the midnight hour behind the mask of hate i don the devil's power if there's life in the shadows let the knife leave its mark when the certainty of safety feels like stabbing stabbing in the dark i mean 10 out of 10 for clever lyrics yeah. again like it yeah. i know i said it in i don't remember which one one of the videos one of the other i send kills reactions like the fact that they have not only been able to follow the theme of like horror flicks specifically mm -hmm. like 80s teen slasher movies um but that they've had the same cleverness like the same mm -hmm. level of cleverness in all of the lyrics so far for all of these songs yeah. and then have also been able to create the same uh depth of video for yeah. all of the songs well it reminds me to be honest it reminds me of um like shakespeare Right. Yeah. Like that level of like consistently good work. And, um, you know, a lot of people talk about Shakespeare saying, oh, you know, it's more than one person that was right, writing it and everything. But then you see bands like this who are just consistently bringing the, the level of lyricism, mm -hmm. the level of, um, you know, writing music mm -hmm. as well. I mean, it's it's not the same. You know, it's not different lyrics laid over the same song. It's not, you right. know any of that sort of stuff and they've tied in a bunch of different things into one like they've put time and effort into it and you can tell um and so it's it's top tier it's absolutely it's top, top tier. tier and it's very entertaining mm -hmm. like as someone who enjoys 80s slasher flicks 
these songs and these videos are equally as entertaining and equally as fun to watch as the original Mm -hmm. movies they're based off of. And so for me, that makes it even like that takes it just another level to another level rather of like enjoyment because like they just they lean in so hard to this theme. It if if you didn't lean in this hard, it wouldn't be good. Right. You know, and like it's so good. I don't know. I really have enjoyed all of them so far. I'm excited yeah. to do the full album review. Um and I'm excited to watch Mary Axmas too. Um because yeah. I know the comment was like it's kind of like a side note or like a prologue or something. So I'm mm-hmm. excited for that one as well. Yep. Um and now I wish we had followed it all the way the right way and I had do too. it ends as the I final do reaction. Too. Um but but we didn't. Can't we go, did it wrong. Can't go back in time. Um, but so just watch that one last. <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah. Do them. Do them all in order. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Do you have anything else to say? No. I don't. <laughs> the camera's like, no, you don't. I guess we're done. All right. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time.